Dude, this is a hack. Do you not realize? How, how do you stop it? That's the neat thing. You don't. <laughs> I have made several Tiny Task videos, and in all of them I never explained it very well, leading me to confuse over 1,030,800 people. I love that fact. I want that written on my gravestone. Anyways, before more of you leave and I get less ad money, I'm going to show you how Tiny Task works. Alright, so what exactly is Tiny Task? Well, Tiny Task is a macro. Um, basically like an auto clicker, it runs offline on your computer locally, so you don't need an internet connection to use it, which means it can't possibly be a hack. The definition of a hack is gaining unauthorized access to data in a system. And if it's local on your computer, how can it possibly do that? Hacks only work when they have internet and can use it to gain unauthorized access to whatever the data is they're trying to get. If it runs locally, it doesn't need any data from anything, so it doesn't need unauthorized access. This eliminates Tiny Task because Tiny Task doesn't gain unauthorized access to anything, it runs locally on your computer. It doesn't matter if your internet's plugged in or not. Like I said, Tiny Task repeats actions just like this. If I click record and then do a figure out with my mouse and then click record again and then hit play, it'll do it for me. I unplugged the internet to my computer. It did that offline. It doesn't, it's not a hack. Some people might say, well, it's an exploit then. Well, it's not an exploit. The definition of an exploit is a software tool designed to take advantage of a flaw in a computer system, typically for malicious purposes, such as installing malware. And again, this works offline. It works locally on your computer. It's not installing any malware to Roblox or any kind of like files to Roblox at all. It's not inserting any scripts. It just runs locally on your computer like an auto clicker. All it's doing is telling my computer that I'm moving the mouse in the way that I did before, but I'm actually not. Basically, it's moving my mouse for me. It's, it's the same thing as if you hired somebody to repeat something over and over again with your keyboard and mouse physically. It's the exact same thing. It's just like how an auto clicker will click for you. It's not hacking, it's just doing something for you on your computer locally. Roblox couldn't possibly know the difference because there really is no difference as far as they're concerned. Now say you have to type something just 10,000 times, like literally the word something. And you have to type that 10,000 times and you can't use copy paste for whatever reason, I don't know why, just for the sake of this example. If you can't use copy paste, you have to manually type something a thousand times. This is going to automate it for you. I'll get to why this is useful in a second but all you would do is click right here and then click record. And then you would click on the notepad and type something. Space, space, click off. You click continuous playback. So if I click play, it'll just keep doing it for me over and over again, locally. It's just moving my mouse for me, typing something, moving it back, and then repeating that over and over again, just like I did. I could leave and go play some video games or get coffee or go to school, whatever I had to do. And when I come back, there will just be like a million lines of this. This is the magic of automation and programmers use it all the time. One way this is useful is you can rob the donut shop and jailbreak and it'll hold E and rob it over and over again for you. And when you wake up, you have just way too much money. All right, so next I'll explain exactly how to use Tiny Task and what all the buttons do. So your main buttons are gonna be play and record. Record records in action, all the keys, your mouse, etc. You click record, you can do whatever you want with your mouse um, for as long as you want. You can type things um, and then you click record again and it ends the recording. Basically anything you do in that time, it will key log. It is a key logger. That's the entire point of the program. Basically anything you do in that time, it will key log and then repeat for you. So if I click record and I circle the horse twice and then I click record again and I hit play, it'll do it for me without me actually doing anything. Now you might notice it stops after the first recording. You can go into preferences. Now preferences is all your settings. Um, here you can change the speed, but you can also select this option called continuous playback. Now what this will do is if I click this and then I hit play, it'll continuously circle the horse over and over for infinity um, until I turn it off or my computer shuts down or my electric bill expires. So let's say there's a specific amount of times you want to repeat it. You can click record, do whatever you want, like circle the guy's head, click record, preferences, set repeat count. I'm going to set it to three. And then when I hit play, it should circle his head three times. And perfect, it worked. There are other options here, um, like playback hotkey, recording hotkey. Generally, you want a hotkey to stop it. The default is Control, Shift, Alt, R. So you hold down Control, Alt, Shift, and R to stop it. 
Um, why, why would I have to stop it? Well, if you click record and you click record again and then you move it far away and you set the playback speed to like times two and it's continuous and you click play, you can't really move your mouse because it's telling your computer that your mouse is right there, which is exactly what you want it to do. But it's not very helpful when you're trying to close the program. So I'm, I'm struggling right here. Um, usually here, you'd have to either try and really quickly close it before it updates or shut down your PC by pulling the plug or something. But you can set the hotkey to F12 or F8 or print screen, whatever you think you'll remember or probably something custom. Now download an EXE, all this will do is try and take any EXE file on your computer and play it. So if someone, for instance, gives you an EXE file to use with Tiny Task, this will run it for you. And that's all that really does. I would be careful with this because other things that other people make aren't necessarily safe. So you don't just wanna run any EXE file on your computer or download any EXE file on your computer. Now save, what this does, say I do a recording and I do something very, um, detail oriented and long and I click record again, it's saved as a recording, right? But if I really wanna use it next time, I can click save and save that file to wherever I want on my computer and then go to open and reopen the same exe file that I created with Tiny Task. So basically, if you did something complicated and you'd like to store it and then play it again for later use, you can use open to play it again. Now you might be wondering how you download Tiny Task. Now this is where a lot of people get viruses because I specifically tell people to go to Softonic to download it or some other credible website. If they're 100% sure it's credible, they'll just go to whatever website they want and download Tiny Task. And Tiny Task in and of itself is 100% safe and virus free. But if you download it from some random link, I can't guarantee what you'll get. You wanna download Tiny Task from Softonic. And when you download from Softonic, just click download and then skip through any ads that might pop up, click no thanks. And then once it starts, it should be pretty basic if you're only downloading Tiny Task. And yeah, just run the exe file and you'll have a Tiny Task on your computer. You can have more than one Tiny Task application running at once, although I'm not really sure why you would want to do that. Um, I would recommend right clicking the icon and clicking pin to taskbar so that way you don't lose the file when you're done with it. That should be everything regarding Tiny Task. Let me know if the video is helpful for you and feel free to voice any concerns or questions in the comments down below. I will try and read every single one. So thank you for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and check out some of the other things I can do with Tiny Task. I have tutorials on Jailbreak, uh, Mad City, Adopt Me, just all the main Roblox games. Um, I have tutorials about how to get all kinds of gear and free money with Tiny Task in those games. So thank you for watching everyone. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys again next time.